Well, think about your spouse having trouble with your best friend. They're taking money from you or causing you to lose money or you're expected to spend money on them. They are creating for you stress, strife. They're causing you to lose time from work. They're causing you to lie to your spouse. How is your spouse going to feel about your best friend? Not very good, right? So in that kind of case, the spouse is going to say, more likely than not, I'm really concerned about your relationship with your best friend. Now consider gambling being this person's best friend. Gambling taking time away from their family, money away from their family, and any energy that they would have necessarily put toward their family. So the family member is asking the gambler to basically break up with their best friend, the gambling. And what my job then is, is to help the gambler notice or figure out what they need to do in regard to getting maybe the family member off their back. So uh, the gambler might say, well, if I could just limit my gambling to something that's affordable for me, if I could just change this so that maybe I feel like I have control over the gambling. So we do have an approach called harm reduction that allows us to guide, support, and encourage our clients if they want to reduce their gambling behavior as opposed to get rid of it completely. Because it would be really hard to get rid of our best friend, that best friend that makes us feel better consistently. BetCareful.com